Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. It's nice to finally have our COVID restrictions lifted here in Ontario. Somewhat, they're not uh, fully open. A lot of my viewers are from the United States and you guys have been enjoying some success in uh, having your um, country reopen. Ontario, Canada, we're a little bit behind, um, but we're catching up, we're catching up quick. So our restrictions were just lifted recently and we had to celebrate that by uh, going on a fishing trip. I had to make a side trip to go visit my buddy Darren who made me an awesome fire pit and I'll be showing you that in this video. I've got my truck pretty much set up. I got to do a few more things and then we will hit the river and have dinner later on tonight. Here we go.
So as you can see, Darren cut out my logo on, for the top of the grill, which is uh, super cool. I just sent him a uh, digital file of it and he was able to uh, cut it out at his business. But uh, we take this off. And it's going to be great for um, having nice big fires and, and that's really what I wanted. But cooking over, I'm gonna need to make a modification. So um, I'd have to have such a big fire every time I cooked it. So um, we're gonna put another uh, sheet of steel on top here um, so I can just have a, a bed of coals and a smaller fire. So to kind of fix that, I just ran to a local hardware store in town, got some um, furnace uh, pipe that I've basically peeled apart and just using it as a platform. So I'm gonna build my fire on there in case you're wondering what that is. So this is what I will be building the fire on and then we're gonna get uh, some nice bed of coals and start cooking dinner on that. So I think this will do for now, but eventually this will be a nice flat piece of steel that will um, basically house the uh, fire in the future. So as the seasons changed and now I'm into summer camping with my truck, I was going through a few things that I take on my trips and I was using them and I thought, well, I'll take a minute and I'll show you uh, some of the things that I think are good uh, summer things to have with you uh, while you're camping. One of them is that uh, I take along a weed sprayer. I just got this at Home Depot, very inexpensive. And I don't do any fancy um, uh, plumbing with it. I just literally took the spray nozzle and I left it off because that has a fine mist but the pressure on it, all you have to do is pump it up. And it actually works best when there's, it's like three quarters full so that the air, there's more air in it and there's more air pressure in there. 
and I leave this out in the sun, it warms up. It's great for a shower, but it's also great for spraying off dishes and, and your gear and a lot of different things. Um, it clips in here, almost use it like a little fire extinguisher, put the fire out, that sort of thing. Um, a million uses and uh, it's a water supply. So I, it's, um, you know, it's never been uh, filled with anything except just water. So you can drink out of it in a pinch. So you got two gallons of water and it's really convenient. So I use that on all my uh, summer trips when things heat up and uh, I get a little ripe after uh, three or four days out my, living out of my truck. Um, this is a 75 liter cooler and it's not a Yeti, it's not a name brand, it's uh, a Woods, which is um, a Canadian Tire in Canada here. Uh, but it's a very, it's an inexpensive cooler, but it's a roto molded cooler, which in theory you think they all do the same sort of thing. What I have found to get the most use out of my ice is what I do is, I have one large and a few smaller ones, um, Tupperware containers that I fill up and I freeze before I leave for my trip. So I've been out with this cooler almost five days now since I left home. And uh, this huge thing here, Anyway, huge block of ice still in here and some really ice cold water. So if this system really has worked well for me. Uh, to give you an idea, last year, last August, I took my two boys uh, to Algonquin Park and we got dropped off by a boat. And uh, so we were able to take some niceties and I took uh, my cooler. So we were, we were there for, I think, a good five days in August, very hot. I took this cooler, um, I used this system and um, when I got back, the same guy that was driving the boat to drop us off picked us up. And I uh, was a young guy, an outdoors guy, and he was asking about the cooler and how it held up because he was debating whether to buy one or not. And I showed him the, the ice that was still in place after the time we had been gone. And he just laughed. He's like, well, that made my decision. There's no way I'm spending the, the money on an expensive Yeti or all the other um, high-end coolers. You just don't really need to. Um, solid block of ice is gonna stay longer than small cubes of ice. And I also kind of used a couple of sacrificial bags of ice to, to get my cooler um, cooled down before I even leave for the trip or before I even put the ice in. So those are some tips to help you uh, for your summer camping. I think, uh, you know, they're one of the most um, overlooked things sometimes, in, in my opinion. So. so this is gonna wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Just a nice little short one to get things going. And now that things have opened up and the world is getting back to normal, hopefully I'll have a lot more adventure videos coming for you soon. Cheers. Got another one in the books.